right, uh, let's have 30 points tonight, but more importantly, ninth win in a row for this team. Just talk yes, about what it took to get the win tonight against Idaho here. Um, you know, it was a team effort. Um, you know, we all played as a team. Um, we knew that this game we had to kind of lock in on defense more. Um, so that's what we did. You know, we we were jumping in gaps and things like that. We were playing team defense, so, that, so that's what we helped. Uh, Harrison, you guys only won the rebounding battle by, by two tonight. I mean, what was going on the, with the, the post? I mean, what was it like kind of battling for rebounds there? Oh, man, those guys were big. They were tough. Uh, you would hit them, and they would just keep coming. So you know, I'm, I'm actually surprised we won. But, you know, it was a battle down there. I'm glad we won. They got the lead. They, they got the lead for the first time all game, basically early second half. Adjustments was there? Talk. What was going on? Uh, well, we knew that you know they was going to go on their little run, so we just had to um, you know kind of manage that and go on our own. And um, that's why. Yeah, you answered like I think nine oaks something like that. Yes, sir. And after that. Yep. Yeah, it seemed like the game really changed after they had both of those technical fouls. Um, can you talk about what the on court environment was like? What was the was there a bit of trash talk going on between the teams? Did you get in their head a little bit? Uh, not by us. I think they, they were just getting frustrated, I think, and, you know, trying to take it out on us. Uh, we were trying to tell Tev to calm down, don't, you know, don't retaliate to the pushing and stuff, and he did his job and didn't, and they kept getting grimy and stuff like that, and we just ran with it. Kind of a shoes on the other foot situation, right? You know, try to watch that a little bit. Going now on the road now for, for the, next two, the next two, I mean, it's way too early in the race. We all have all the goofy crap with COVID right now. Does does this team is this team hitting its stride yet, or you still got more to do? Um, you know, it's a good team, so you know we're not going to di uh, disrespect uh, no team. You know, um, but we're just going to uh, come out every night and do our job. So that's what we need to do. It's all business all the time here, then, pretty much. Sure. Tev, uh, obviously, you guys scored 80, eighty plus points the last two games. I mean, even coming back from the the break you guys have had, where's the offense at right now, and how does it feel that's running through you? Um, well. Um, I think we did a good job, you know, over the break, staying in shape and things like that. So, so offense is able to run, you know, a lot smoother and things like that. And, um, you know, I just try to find my teammates and things like that, you know, find, find the open gaps and, you know, just, uh, you know, get whatever the defense gives me. So. Can you guys talk about being on this winning streak? Is it something that you guys bring up or is it like a superstitious thing when nobody talks about the streak? What's it like? Uh, we don't really talk about it. Usually practice and before games, everybody's doing their own thing. Coach Simon will bring it up here and there, but other than that, we're just focused on the game task at hand. I mean, this team obviously is third, third winless, right? It's not, like, not that great of a team, but I mean, what did it feel to come out and, you know, after Thursday's game, it's only a five point, but to win the way you did tonight, double digits, how did that feel for you guys tonight? It felt good, you know, like I said before, you know, we're not going to disrespect the teammate. You know, we're going to come out and uh, give 100% every time, but, you know, the win felt good, so on to the next one. And defensively, uh, Harrison, I guess, is there any kind of adjustment that you want to make coming up with you know, going on the road and that kind of stuff? Uh, defensively, no. I think we just need to stay stay with our principles. Once we stay with our principles and get in a stance to talk, we'll be one of the best defensive teams in the league. Yeah. In that same vein, on defense, it seemed like you guys switched to a 2-3 zone about eight minutes left there in the second half, and that really gave them some problems. Can you talk about um, – how much you guys work on that in practice and how that look was able to kind of slow them down? Uh, zone days are my favorite days in practice. Uh, we work on it a lot. It's uh, it's one of the hardest things to, to learn how to do, but once you get it, you kind of get it. And um, in the past, I don't think we've gotten it, but we worked on it uh, this week, and I think we're starting to actually get it. So they showed today. <coughs> All right, anything else? Nope. I think so, uh, extending on the winning streak to nine games now, you'd like to start with the opening Yeah, you know, I was t telling the staff, I mean, it's hard to win one Division One game. I mean, it really <laughs> is. And, we, and we've and we been on the other side of, of, of searching for wins, and so, you know, we don't take these for granted, but, you know, we want, we're always in the process mode and we're trying to get better and better. And, you know, we had some guys step up today that needed, you know, and, and we also, you know, felt great about that our zone which we've been kind of working on behind closed doors has proved to be better mm -hmm. and uh and that those are a couple of good developments for us mm -hmm. kind of like you mentioned it didn't really feel like a 16 point win i mean do you feel like you should have won this game by, by more tonight uh you know we were we were kind of banged up to be honest with you um we uh, i was very concerned 
you know, you get basically, I think we went four out of 20 days. And, you know, in those 16 days, guys are in isolation, so you're not doing anything. And it takes three days to get out of shape. So you can kind of get a perspective of, oh, yeah. of what it is. And so uh, I, I was very concerned that after, you know, Thursday's game, which was a lot of possessions and, and uh, was taxing on our guys that we'd come in today, we, we were very hobbled yesterday. And then kind of before the game, I was concerned that, that uh, you know, he, he wasn't 100%. And John Knight obviously wasn't 100%. And then Dre wasn't 100%. <laughs> and John, John had to be helped off the floor after, after four. Yeah, after. yeah, I'm amazing, 100%. You know, so we had a whole bunch of guys that were like, okay, we got to figure out a way to kind of find a mix and match and see who's got it today, and, uh, which is good. You know, in, and then in the season, you're going to have those days and to still find a way to win is important. I know, when I know grab the lead in the second half, did you have to call any adjustments? Yeah, you know, right around there is what, kind of where we, where we went to the zone exclusively. And uh, you know, we were going to, um, we've been kind of sitting on it for a little while, you know, waiting for, for a good time to kind of bring it out. And uh, that was kind of the difference, I thought, is it kind of got them out of their rhythm offensively. And, uh, you know, it, it was good. It just changed the style of, of the game. Which was good for us. The, the emotion that resulted in the night of those two technical fouls. Kind of, kind of, kind of how, did, how did they keep managing to keep focus? And yeah, I was proud of our guys. You know, um, everyone's fierce competitors. You never like to see that in games. Period. You know, just because sure. it's competitive. I mean, and uh, but sometimes you know, with uh, you know, the officials in this league do a great job of, of maintaining the, the integrity of the game in terms of just keeping it going. And uh, so they had put in a tough position, and, and uh, you know I, I, don't, I never love to see him just because it could be you on the wrong side of it, or a kid gets emotional one time. But uh, it was part part of the deal, and, and we'll, we'll capitalize on it. And guys made the free throws and took advantage of it. Yeah, knees was uh, obviously coming from not playing Thursday to playing today. I mean, he was plus 16, 11 points in 18 minutes. So what did you see from him today? Mays, just what he does. I mean, he's plays so hard. He's like an uh, immovable object down there. He's so strong. Uh, um, he plays hard. We try to get him, you know, just two minutes spurts and get him out, get him in, get him out, get him in, get him out. And uh, um, he's a warrior and uh, probably benefited from some of the stoppages and, and all that good stuff. And, and, and that was good for him. And he'll get his win and get his feet back under him. But those, you know, he shoots it so well. I mean, as his feet are set, it's a bucket. And, uh, Sometimes it just he finds a way to get open, and, and it surprises me every time. Yeah, Coach, uh, going back to that zone, I mean, I've had 48 points in the paint. They really wanted to do everything they could to get their points inside. Can you talk specifically um, about what the zone was able to do to, to kind of slow them down? And you said they messed up their rhythm. Can you talk more specifically about that? Yeah, I mean, part of a big deal for us is to not allow threes. You know, that, that's a big deal for us. Where, generally speaking, I mean, from from a math basketball standpoint, you give up 33 from three as I've given up 50 from two. So our, our deal is try to force everything in uh, the, that two point range and keep it contested. And, and especially knowing that, you know, we average 10 threes a game, you know, we're, we're, those, are, those are some of the things that we stand by. So to Idaho's credit, they were getting those shots and they were making them. They're, they're, they're good from those elbow areas and, and all that stuff that we uh, were, were willing to maybe give up more so than a three. And, uh, and, and to their credit, they made all the shots and they're well coached. They run great offense. Um, he does a great job over there. Something that baffled me a little bit. Plus two, re plus, you're plus two on the rebounding edge, you're plus two on the assist, on the uh, turnover ed edge. I mean, did that, how did, how did all the, those numbers play in? Because I, I have a hard time reading that based on what the yeah. saw out there. So for us, you know, coming into this game, we're second in the nation in defensive rebound percentage, which is, you know, for us, you know, we get 18 D rebounds and they get five offense rebounds, two of which were two of our guys gliding and the ball coming out and they get a team rebound. So that's what we really value. But we want we want to win the possession game, you know, the offensive rebounds and uh, the turnover game. So in those two areas, you know, we're plus seven possessions. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I always tell our guys, I, say, I do this every year in, in the summer and fall. You're gonna play red versus black. Red gets the ball seven possessions, but then before you get the first possession, they go. That's what these possession numbers mean. And and so 
And they're like, oh, that's not fair. Exactly. So let's rebound and let's not turn the ball over. We're going to have a better <laughs> chance of winning. So that's, our, our team has been good at those numbers. Yeah, it really looked like their bigs kind of provided a mismatch uh, for you guys today. I mean, they, like, like you said, they, that the rebounding differential is kind of a wash. But could you talk just a little bit more about um, the challenge that provided with the bigs against your guys and the mismatch that was there? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, you know, quite a, you know, their, their bigs are physical, you know, they, uh, Black means a heck of a player. Um, and I thought, uh, you know, we, we, he got a good position a couple times, but we tried to make, make it difficult for him. You know, we tried to really make it difficult for him. And, and I thought more of their paint stuff was kind of off the bounce, you know, from some of the other positions. But, um, but we felt pretty good. And, you know, he getting a little bit of foul trouble there kind of, kind of, kind of made, it, made him a little less aggressive defensively. Coach, you got a big matchup next week with Eastern Washington as you and your team try to continue to establish yourself at the upper echelon of the conference. Uh, conference. How are you looking forward to that game? Yeah, I mean, we're, we, we told the guys our, our page is turned already, and, uh, and, and we need to start focusing on, on you know, finding the best advantages we can and, uh, and going up to uh, Eastern Washington, who's a heck of a ball club, and we got to be at our best to, to compete with them. Does the, COVID, does the COVID situation worry you right now? I mean, because you've only had two games that have been lost. Yeah. But there's always, there's always potential for more. Yeah, there's, I mean, it's completely out of our control. And, and that's the hard part is we're in a pandemic. There's nothing you can – our players are as disciplined as probably anybody in the country, and we've been fortunate. But at the same token, I mean, it's <laughs> – there's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. It's, 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 it's going to spread through. It's going to come through. If we're on a college campus, I mean – our guys can can't can't live in isolation forever, sure. and uh, but I also you where you spend all your waking moments worrying about what other people are doing. Right. You know we can't control what our teams are doing, and all of a sudden it's a Tuesday and the game's canceled because you know of an opponent. It's so you can't worry about it. You got to keep moving and embrace the games that you get because you know it might be a season where ten wins wins the league. You just don't know. Sure. Kind of going a little bit more into that, obviously. 4 0 in league to start. Uh, obviously, the Montana State, that series would have been big for you, but now going into Eastern Washington, having that 4 0 lead right now over other teams, well, how does that affect how you prepare? I don't say how to affect how you prepare, but how, just how do you feel about that going forward? Yeah, I mean, we're just taking it game by game. I know it's cliche, but yeah. you just turn the page and focus on the next one. All the answers are on the film. That's, you know, we don't try to get too high, don't get too low, don't get handle success, handle failure, and then, but, and then all the answers are in black and white. And uh, if we focus on that, we'll be just fine. Perfect. Thank you, Coach.